So the past week has seen public speculation whether or not Mr. Tan Chuan Jin had been demoted. And I have to admit that that was indeed one of the first thoughts that came to my mind. And then I began to think otherwise. And so I have to say, I now beg to defer with those views. You see, Singaporeans have long talked about having a different definition of success. And now when we have a minister becoming a speaker, we say he's been demoted. Oh, because you know, his roles are now more subscribe, uh, circumscribed because he will be taking a pay cut. Is that how we want to value each other? By how much we earn? By the position that we hold? I don't think it is right for us to do that. And I think it is time for us to also revalue ourselves, relook at how we value each other and how we value our public servants for what they have done and what they will continue to do for Singapore, regardless of the office they hold. How can we say that only cabinet members can serve Singapore better? What about backbenchers? What about opposition party members? We all serve. We all serve because we want to serve the public. And no office can limit the passion to serve. No office can limit the talent to make an impact. And no office can be, and any office can be one for exemplary service. But I have to admit, as I said earlier, that it came as a surprise. In fact, many of my colleagues in the social service sector and I were taken aback at the announcement of sir, your departure from the cabinet. Not simply because you were not going to be a minister anymore, but because you were our minister. You went beyond discharging your portfolio. You cared for those who were struggling in the Singaporean community. You cared for those who were serving in the social service sector. You understood that it was a long and hard journey for all of us, for all of us on both sides in the sector. You knew we struggled with limited resources. You supported us and you encouraged us to think out of the box, to relook our limited resources and use them for the greater benefit of our clients. You encouraged volunteerism at the community and corporate levels, and you encouraged us to take responsibility for ourselves. You were a minister we could go to to share our troubles and our aspirations, and you were our minister. And for that, um, if I could depart from technical correctness, for that, I want to say thank you, Minister. So have we lost an advocate? I don't think so. Thankfully, I think we have now gained another, a Minister Desmond Lee. And while Mr. Tan continues his good work serving the vulnerable and the disadvantaged, we have one more person to serve the vulnerable and the disadvantaged. Well, Mr. Tan's appointment, well, your appointment here as Speaker of Parliament limit your service and contribution to Singapore? I don't think so. I think you can do more. As Speaker of Parliament, I have no doubt that you will rule the proceedings with fair and even hand. The doctrine of parliamentary privilege allows parliamentarians to speak without fear or favour, to call to question the decisions and the actions of the government, and to require the executive to account to the people. As Singaporeans engage in more robust debates on the ground, there will be higher and more unstinting expectations for more robust debates in Parliament. Singapore will be well served if parliamentarians debate on issues vigorously, fearlessly. And I have no doubt, sir, that you will maintain the dignity of the proceedings and that with your fairness and your even-handedness, you will see to it that issues are properly debated. I am confident, sir, that you will rise to the occasion. I know that you will do your best, do right by Singaporeans, and you will continue to make a difference to Singapore. And for that, sir, I look forward to your leadership. Thank you.